And now we go back to Paris Schutz, who spent the day reporting in Greater Englewood area as a part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Paris. Yeah, uh, Brandis, we're back here with 20th Ward Alderman uh, Jeanette Taylor. Alderman, thanks. Alderman Woman, I should say, thank you so much for joining us. You're so more welcome. We were talking uh, to a bunch of providers about trying to get that, that vaccination rate up. One of the things they say is, you know, folks, they're worried about a lot of things here. Maybe COVID isn't the top of mind. So uh, are, you, are you happy with the efforts to get that rate up? No, because think about this. The testing wasn't even that great in communities of color. And so with them coming out saying that the Johnson & Johnson now has problems, and I got the Johnson & Johnson, um, people are scared. There's always this thing in our communities about trusting the government. We don't trust government. We, we know what they tested on black folks before. So they have to clear up a lot of those things that people are scared of, and they got to make it accessible. Using our neighborhood colleges, the churches, it needs to be so in your face that you take the time to say, I'm just going to go get tested or I'm going to go get the vaccination. So you don't think that's happening yet? I mean, enough residents are getting the message to come out and get I don't think so. What needs I, I to happen? Don't. We got to go to old school door knocking and use those relationships. Why do we have those relationships? We know the people in the church. We know the young lady on the corner selling water. We know the young children that run back and forth and play in the playground. It's having those conversations with family about it's not enough for one person to get vaccinated or just to wear your mask. But we also have to look out, pe look at people's living conditions. We got a bunch of folks who are lived on top of each other. They're homeless. We got a large population of homeless youth in the community. That's 16 group. Mm. And so we got to do a good job of getting people who they respect and they listen to to do that. So if that's Snapchat, Instagram, you know, they hate Facebook now. That's not that thing. Oh. So we got to get people who they listen to. We got to get their peers to actually say to him, hey, it's worth listening to to get vaccinated and actually like letting them, you know, decide. Right. I'm not pushing my my 16 year old to get vaccinated. As a matter of fact, he's not even going to the school. They didn't keep the schools clean before COVID. You think I'm gonna send them now? All right. No. So a lot to think about there. I want to move on to other issues. Uh, you know, police oversight. There's the the GAPA and CPAC ordinance. It's merged into one that to have a civilian uh, police board. The mayor has not put forth her proposal. So what's what's going on with with the proposal? Um. We're not, we don't have a progressive mayor. The chair of the city council of safety committee is not progressive. We gonna expect the police to is police that the police. Talia Farrow? That is Alderman Tyler Farrow. We continue not to even want to have the conversations and that's problematic and that's why we are not moving as a city. Think about this, in every major city in the, in the country who's had police violence, they've done ordinances to move forward and Chicago is still thinking about it. We still, What's we still ain't got the What's the decree. you think? Cause the police run this city. Let's say what it is. So you're saying what did Lori do before she got this job? Oh well, wait, she was a cop, wasn't she? No, she was. She was. She was on the police reform mm. uh, committee so put together by the, the mayor. So we expect the police to police the police. It has not worked, and in communities of colors, it is just horrible. It, they, we cannot continue well, not to do anything. So Look the, what's happening. Think about this. But that ordinance has majority support of your colleagues. So how come it's not called for a vote or anything? You you want to call Lori an axa? You can call Tyler Farrow and ask them as well. They are keeping this. We want to have this change. This is long overdue. We've been talking about police oversight and, and this board would hire and it would have the power to hire and fire the superintendent. Oh, most definitely. And think about this. While I have mad respect for Superintendent Brown, he from Texas. He not from Chicago. So you got to be born and bred in here to understand the dynamics of Chicago. You got to be able to understand neighborhoods and relationships. He uh, just does it. All right, Alderman Taylor. That's all the time we have. That went by really fast. But thank hey. you very much for being here. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. And uh, Brandis, uh, we toss it back to you. We'll be back here in a second. Not one to mince words, is she, Paris? Thank you.